Hi everyone, welcome, I'm Francesca. This is a 10 minute back pain relief class. So when you're ready, let's start in a comfortable seated position. You can choose either kneeling or a cross legged. Relax your shoulders, relax your back and close your eyes. Take a moment here to observe any sensation in your body and start to take control of your breathing. Taking long deep breath in and out through your nose. During this class, remember to take it easy and don't push it too far, always listening to your body. So when you're ready, bring the hands on your shoulder and start to do some circle, bringing your elbows up close to the head and back. Doing a small and controlled movement, trying to release any tension in your shoulder blades, in your neck, in your shoulders. Let's change direction. Again, starting with small, controlled movements, trying to release any tension in your back. Let's do two more. Last one. And then release. Place the hands on your legs. Take your chin close to your chest and start to move your head side to side Focusing again in doing small and controlled movements and then starting to take big movements, bringing the head towards your shoulders and going to the other direction. Let's hold the head towards the right shoulder. You can stay here or if you want to increase, you can bring your right hand on your left ear and extend the left arm out and back, flexing the hand. Keep breathing in and out while you gently lengthen the left side of the neck. And then release. Coming back to center, start to move your head again side to side, starting with small movements and then increasing your range of motion. Let's then hold the head towards the left shoulder and if you want you can hold your head with the left hand and extend the right arm far, flexing the hand. Keep breathing in and out through your nose, releasing any tension in your neck. And then release, coming back to center. Now bring the hands up. Look up, cross the fingers, rotate the palm towards the sky, opening the chest, placing the hands behind your head, round the spine, bringing the elbows together, and when you now look up, opening the shoulders. Again, round, bringing the elbows together, and when you now look up, bringing the shoulder blades together and arching the spine. Keep doing this movement trying to access the part of the spine that needs to be released the most. Do last one and then release. Widen the knees, lower the forehead on the mat, extending the arms in front of you, coming to a child's pose. The most important thing here is to lower the forehead on the mat and trying to release any tension from the back. So it does not matter if our glutes don't touch the heel, but try to focus on extending the arms in front of you, keeping the shoulders active. Then slowly round in the spine, coming out of the pose, enter into a cat cow, open the chest, look up. And exhale, round, gaze towards the navel. Keep doing this movement, linking each movement with your breathing. So when you now look up, bring the shoulder blades together and when you exhale, round, gaze towards the navel. Take a moment to hold the pose longer if you feel like you need to, listening to what your body needs. And then come back to a neutral position, lift the right arm up, exhale, twist, bringing the arm towards the left. Again, look up, open to the side and exhale, twist. 
Let's do last one. Inhale, look up. Exhale, twist, lowering the shoulder on the mat. Sending the gaze towards the right hand. You can choose the intensity of this stretch based on how much weight you want to put on the shoulder. Release, bringing the right arm up one last time. And then lower the hand on the mat, coming back to a tabletop position. Let's repeat to the other side. So when you now lift the left hand up, look up and exhale, twist. Two more. You now look up, exhale, twist. Last one. You now look up, exhale, twist, lowering the shoulder on the mat. Like before, you can decide the intensity of this stretch based on how much weight you place on the shoulder. And let's keep holding this pose, taking long deep breaths in and out through your nose. Relaxing your back, your neck. Keep extending here. Then raising back up, bring the left arm up, look up. And exhale, release. Tabletop position. Now place the weight on your fingertips and start to walk forward with the hands, lowering once again the forehead on the mat. This time we want to keep the hips in line with the knees, coming to a puppy pose. At the same time, at each inhale, try to push the chest towards the mat, bringing the shoulder blades together and slowly arching the spine. Another long deep breath in here. And then when you exhale, lowering your elbows on the mat, start to slide forward with the weight coming to a sphinx pose. So here we want to keep the glutes active, the hands active, and keep pushing with the hands and the elbows against the mat, opening the chest and bringing the shoulder blades together. You can release the head on the mat. Now widen the hands as wide as the mat and start to roll the spine, bringing the head up. And exhale, down. Keep doing these cobra waves, keeping the head heavy. So the head comes up last and down last. This helps us to remove any unwanted tension in between the shoulder blades, the neck, the head. Let's do the last one and lower the head on the mat, taking a moment to move your hips side to side. And then when you're ready, placing the hands underneath your shoulders, push the hips back and up, coming to a down dog. You can hold your down dog static or simulate a walk, bending one leg and then the other one, giving a nice stretch to your legs, keeping the back extended and then gently releasing the knees on the mat, come to sit on the floor. Then slowly, we're going to lay on the mat, bringing the knees to your chest. Once you're here, hug your knees into your chest, keeping the chin towards your chest and start to swing side to side, giving a nice massage to your back, to your hips, Now keep the right knee to your chest and extend the left leg on the mat, keeping the foot flexed. Take a deep breath in. And when you exhale, twist, guiding the knee towards the left side, extending the right arm out and sending the gaze towards the right hand. You don't have to push and force the right knee on the floor. The most important thing is like you feel the back lengthening and you hold it here with the support of the left hand, giving the time to your back to lengthen and extend. Another deep breath in here. And then slowly come back to center, add both knees into your chest, swinging side to side like we did before. This time we keep the left knee Hug to the chest and extend the right leg out. 
keeping the foot flexed, twist guiding the left knee over the right leg, gaze over the left shoulder. Keep taking long deep breath in and out through your nose. And then come back to the center, hugging one last time your knees to your chest. Doing any last movement that you wish to do so you can do an happy baby, bringing the feet up, winding in the knees and keep rolling side to side. Release the feet. Place both feet on the mat and let the knee fall in towards each other. Place the hands on your belly and close your eyes. Take a moment here to notice any sensation in your body like we did at the beginning of the practice. Noticing if anything has changed, but without any judgment. You can stay here for as long as you like. Thank you very much for practicing with me. Please make sure to leave me a thumbs up, a comment and to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon. Bye!